Scenes like these are happening all over the galaxy right now. You could be next. That is, unless you make the most important decision of your life. Prove to yourself that you have the strength and the courage to be free. Join the Helldivers. Folks, I made a Helldivers costume. I have zero experience in this sort of thing. I did not use a 3D printer. I worked on the costume over the course of three months during my summer break. And I'm gonna go ahead and document that process here. I started off by buying a bunch of stuff from thrift stores. I thought I was just gonna like paint over some hockey armor. I took a picture of myself and painted over it in Microsoft Paint to see what it would look like. And I did not like what I saw. I'm not wearing hockey pants. While I was panicking about what to do with the primary part of the costume, I threw myself into prop making. I designed my own Liberator cardboard cutout, began cutting out a bunch of sheets of cardboard with a box cutter, glued them together, sealed the seams with paper clay, sealed it, mocked up how I wanted to paint it in Microsoft Paint, and began to paint it. I also painted over the squirt gun that I got from the thrift store. I got a dog toy at the thrift store, glued an LED light into it, and then cut a dowel to size and attached it to the light of the LED, so I had a light-up stratagem ball. I printed out this right here from the internet, put it inside of a phone holder, the kind you would use for, like, jogging or whatever, put another LED light under that. Meanwhile, I started watching YouTube videos by Kamui Cosplay and many others to figure out what I needed to do, and I realized what I had missed. It's about the foam. Ooh, but I was not ready for foam. So started on paper, did measurements, uh, taped paper together, taped cardboard together, resized it, redid it. All these were my designs. I did purchase this basic helmet pattern from Kamui Cosplay, but everything else I designed, and I'm quite proud of that. Finally, feeling not at all confident, I got to the foam. I marked it all with a Sharpie, cut it out with a very sharp box cutter. It did not fit. I cut away a mohawked shaped part from the helmet so that it would fit, and later I hid that with attachments that I added on on top of the basic helmet pattern that I got. The chest piece, since it had a lot more flat surfaces, was much easier to cut out. I used Weldwood contact cement to glue all this stuff together. That stuff is not messing around. There's a bunch of steps that I did not get footage of. I have added a lot of foam pieces to the helmet. I have used a Dremel tool to uh, sand off, carve off the edges of a lot of the foam. I bought a heat gun for this project and used it to shape the foam, again, following YouTube tutorials. And I've also used that Dremel tool to make the little uh, bolt shapes, sort of drilling circles into the foam very carefully. I've added the mohawk onto the helmet over top of the gap that I cut, as well as adding the sort of uh, mutton chops side pieces to that face mask. Before painting anything, I need to seal it all in Plasti Dip. Plasti Dip was very hard for me to work with. My main piece of advice is that you have to keep that can very, very upright, as well as shaking it all the time so that it uh, applies an even coat. And even then, it would like spit chunks of plastic for me when I used it. It's also like super toxic, so I did it outside with a face mask and when possible, like with a fan blowing on me. But I did seal and paint off all my foam so far. I used washi tape on the edges taping those off so that I could paint over them carefully without uh, spilling the wrong colors over the wrong sections. Having gained some confidence, I moved on to less important parts of the costume, like the shoulder pads and hip armor. In hindsight, I of course should have done these first and gained practice on them before doing like the helmet and the chest piece, but such is hindsight. Similar process, everything started on paper before it moved to the foam. Everything was glued together with the uh, Weldwood contact cement. Here's what my foam looked like when I was finished. I tried to use every part of the buffalo, and I think I succeeded. I am used to doing things on a computer. Folks, physical crafts take up a lot of space. Some tragedies that occurred along the way, the uh, glue didn't hold, the foam started to pull apart on part of the hips, and the paint just like didn't stick very well to these uh, kids shin guards that I got from a thrift store and tried to paint over. The washi tape, even though it's very delicate, actually peeled the paint on that. So I just went over the paint again very carefully. I uh, tried to jam a little bit of that Weldwood cement into the gap in the hip armor, and we just kind of did our best with things. After all the painting of the foam, I went over everything with multiple layers of Mod Podge. Everything fabric related was done by my wife. I probably would have given up on this project after the thrift store stuff if not for her, and I could not have completed it without her. The uh, tunic is actually an ecclesiastical cassock, but just 
cut down. Uh, she made all the adjustments and did all the sizings and did all the trim and all that great stuff for me. More accessories. I rolled uh, aluminum foil into little uh, foil bullets and hot glued them into the top of the cardboard gun magazines. I bought some stickers and some iron-on uh, heat transfer Helldivers stuff for both the helmet and the cape. The costume is covered in hidden nylon straps and Velcro. It's all just stick-on Velcro. I was nervous about that at first, but the glue is actually really strong. The belt buckle is more foam that I painted and the belt itself is just nylon with a bunch of attachments that my wife added. My wife did stitch in some of the Velcro in places as well. More and more accessories. The stim injector I'm very proud of. It's a bicycle pump with just like white mailbox letters stuck to it, and I think it looks great. The super sample was a spatula that was already broken, covered in aluminum foil, Velcro on the shoulders of the chest armor, and Velcro on the cape to put it together, and things are coming together. Purchased the gloves. Very careful hand-done letters. I just used the Sharpie on the Liberator, and that's about it.